Okay, in this video, pag-uusapan natin ang discriminant. In the quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, the value of the expression b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant of the quadratic equation. So, yung discriminant pala ay value. And that value is equal to this expression na makikita under the radical symbol doon sa quadratic formula. Ngayon, saan ba ginagamit ang discriminant na yan? This value, this discriminant, can be used to describe the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. Hindi mo na kailangang isolve pa yung given quadratic equation para lang malaman mo kung ano yung nature ng mga roots niya. So, yung discriminant pa lang, value pa lang ng discriminant, sasabihin niya na kung ano yung expected nature of the roots. Kung yung roots ba ay uh, rational, irrational, o kaya naman, imaginary. Ngayon, gagamit tayo ng variable na capital D at i-equate natin siya sa b squared minus 4ac para magkaroon tayo ng formula. So, let's have the formula for the discriminant and that would be capital D stands for discriminant, equals b squared minus 4ac. Okay, gamitin natin siya. Ayan, this is the table na we can use as our guide to determine the nature of the roots depending on the value of the discriminant. Ayan, yung value pala lang discriminant ay may four possibilities na pwedeng mangyari sa value niya. Pwedeng maging equal to zero yung discriminant, pwedeng maging greater than zero, tapos perfect square pa siya. Pwede rin maging greater than 0, pero hindi perfect. O kaya naman, yung discriminant ay maging less than 0. Pag sinabing greater than 0, mga positive numbers yon. Pag sinabi namang less than 0, syempre, mga negative numbers yan. Ngayon, for every value uh, na nasa table natin, may corresponding nature sila. Malalaman mo na kaagad kung yung nature ng mga roots. So, let's focus first on this one, when the discriminant is zero. Ano yung expected nature ng mga roots ng quadratic equation kapag ang discriminant ay zero? Ayan. Ang expected natin ay yung mga roots ay magiging real numbers and are equal. Ito yung tinatawag na repeated roots o kaya naman ay double roots. Okay? Ngayon, para mas maintindihan natin yan, let's have examples. Let's have the quadratic equation 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 equals 0. So, tandaan, sa discriminant, kailangan natin makuha muna yung values ni a, b, and c. Kaya naman, before you start, make sure na yung given quadratic equation ay nakasulat na sa standard form. Kung hindi pa, i-rewrite mo siya. Okay, so let's identify the values of a, b, c here. We have 4, negative 12, and 9. Ngayon, isa-substitute na natin siya sa, mga, sa discriminant formula. Ang discriminant formula ay d equals b squared minus 4ac. Kaklarify ko lang ha, hindi ito nag exist sa book. No, expression lang ang binibigay ng book. Pero in this video, gagawin natin siyang equation para mas madali natin siyang mapag-usapan. Okay? Ngayon, isa-substitute natin. Yung b natin ay negative 12, kaya magiging negative 12 squared to. Minus 4 times the value of A times the value of C. Kaya lalabas dyan magiging D equals uh, the square of negative 12 minus 4 times A times 4 times the value of C, 9. So simplify natin tong last term. Magiging negative 4 times 4 times 9. That is negative 144. Of course, negative 12 times itself is 144. So simplify natin yan. D equals 0. Ngayon, ano yung sabi ng nature of the roots guide natin? Kapag si discriminant ay 0, ano mangyayari? Ito. Since the discriminant is equal to 0, then the roots of 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 equals 0 are real numbers and are equal. Ngayon, uh, reviewin natin. Actually, itong given equation na to ay ginamit natin dun sa solving quadratic equations by quadratic formula. So, recall lang natin ano ba yung lumabas ng mga roots doon. Play ko yung video dito. Ayan. 
Ano kaya yung lumabas na final answer dito? We are expecting real numbers and R equal. Ayun. Isang root lang, pero ang tawag dyan ay equal roots or solutions. Kailan ba nangyayari yan? Nangyayari yan kapag ang given equation ay perfect square trinomial. Tandaan nyo yun, kapag ang given equation ay PST, expectation natin, ang discriminant niya, zero, and moreover, yung nature ng mga roots niya ay real number pareho, tapos equal. Sa ibang book, repeated yun o kaya double root. Okay, let's, we are done with this one, the first one, when discriminant is equal to zero. Expectation natin na lalabas ay mga real numbers, yung mga roots, and they are equal. Magkapareho, magkapareho. Let us now focus on the next one, the next possibility, that is uh, when the discriminant is greater than zero, being positive, and at the same time, perfect square number. Ano yung magiging expectation natin sa nature ng mga roots? Yung mga roots natin ay magiging real number at the same time rational and not equal. Sabi not equal, magkaiba. Magkaibang rational numbers. Pag sinabing rational numbers, yan yung mga numbers na pwedeng gawing fraction. Pwedeng i-express as fraction. Okay, let's proceed to the example. We have x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals 0. Ang ABC natin ay 1, negative 3, and negative 18. Ang formula natin for the discriminant ay ito. Tapos, sa substitute natin, B squared magiging the quantity of negative 3 squared to minus 4 times 1 times negative 18. Kasi ang C natin ay negative 18. Kaya, yan ang lalabas. Sunod, so simplify natin yung first term saka yung uh, last term. Negative 3 times itself ay 9. Laging positive yan. Tapos, yung pangalabang term naman ay negative 4 times 1 ay negative 4 times negative 18 is positive 72. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng 9 plus 72 dyan. Ngayon, ang final answer, ang discriminant natin ay 81. Anong sabi ng uh, nature of the roots guide? Ayan. Since ang discriminant ay greater than 0 and a perfect square number, Ano expectation natin? The roots of the given equation are rational numbers but are not equal. Try natin i-play yung video about this one using the quadratic formula. Ayan. Ano kayong lalabas na roots niyan? Dapat rational sila tapos hindi equal. Ayan, pinaghiwalay niya yung dalawa. Tapos, final answer niya ay 6, saka negative 3. Ayan, parehong rational. Pwede gawing fraction yan, di ba? Parehong rational and they are not equal. So, see, that's the power of discriminant. Pwede niyang sabihin yung nature ng mga roots without actually solving the given equation. Next possibility. Let us now proceed to the third possibility. That is when the discriminant is still positive, but this time, not perfect. Ang expectation natin, yung uh, na roots ay real, pero irrational. Pag sinabing irrational, may makikita ka ng mga square root, o kaya fourth root, pero dahil grade 9 pa lang ang focus natin, mga, mga square root symbol, no? mga radicals, tapos hindi pareho, hindi sila equal. Next example, we have x squared minus 5x plus 2 equals 0. Again, ito ay naka-standard form na, kaya mabibigyan na natin yung a, b, and c, which are positive 1, negative 5, and 2. Pwede natin makuha ang discriminant ngayon gamit ang formula. d equals b squared minus 4ac. Pwede kang dumiretso dyan, no? kahit na huwag yun ang isulat kung memorize yun naman. Okay, so substitution na kagad, pwede naman yun. At itong b squared ay magiging the square of negative 5. Tapos, negative 4 times 1, ang value ng a ay 1, times the value of c which is 2. Tapos, simplify natin yung first term at yung second term. Magiging 25 minus 8, ayon. Final answer natin ay, ang discriminant ay 17. Positive siya, pero this time, hindi siya perfect square. Anong sabi ng nature of the roots guide? 
Ayan. Since the discriminant is greater than 0, but not a perfect squared number, then the roots of x squared minus 5x plus 2 equals 0 are irrational numbers and are not equal. Try natin i-play yung video about this. Kung talagang irrational yung lalabas, ibig sabihin may radical, tapos hindi sila equal. Let's play the video. Ayan ang, ayan ang yung ating presentation last time. Ano kayong lalabas dyan? Dapat may radical. Ayun. Dalawa yan, di ba? 5 plus or minus the square root of 17 all over 2. Clearly, irrational numbers sila na hindi equal. So, tama yung sinasabi ng discriminant. Yung pang-apat, yung huli, that happens when the discriminant is less than 0 or negative. Anong expectation natin? Yung nature ng mga roots ay not real or imaginary. Example 4, we have 6x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0. Ang ABC dyan ay 6, negative 1, and 1. Ang discriminant formula ay ayan. Tapos sa substitute natin, ito yung magiging negative 1 squared or square of negative 1. Tapos negative 4 times A, which is 6, times C, which is 1. Kaya pag sinubstitute yan, magiging ganito. And... Pag sinimplify, yan ang lalabas at yung final answer ay ang discriminant ay negative 23. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Kapag discriminant ay negative, ibig sabihin, yung roots ng given equation ay not real. O kaya, imaginary numbers. Para lang ibig sabihin ng terms na yan. No? Ibig sabihin yan, ay, yung final answer natin ay isang may radical, square root, I mean, may square root, tapos yung sa loob ng square root symbol ay negative. Tignan natin. Ano kaya expectation dyan? Ayun, yung final answer niya. Negative sa loob ng radical. Kaya siya naging imaginary or not real.